drug manufacturer with ties to the Midlands vowing to pump some big bucks into the region and create hundreds of jobs at a time when the state badly needs it. Also tonight on Fox, Lexington One students going high tech. The district giving iPads to all high school students. Superintendent Karen Woodward says the tablets will better prepare students for the future. Officials saying using the iPads in the classroom and for homework assignments will better engage and motivate students. The newsmaker tonight is going to be this area of low pressure right here located off of New England. It has caused some cold temperatures to blow over some water that is actually about five degrees warmer than normal along the Great Lakes and that's causing some lake effect snow basically affecting Michigan and moving on into Buffalo, New York as well. So those folks are getting some snow tonight. Other than that, just cold temperatures along the eastern seaboard here. Sticking closer to home, tonight's going to be rather chilly out there. 26 degrees with a little breeze sticking around tomorrow as well. 52 for our daytime high under sunny skies, so that's good news for us. And taking a quick look here at the future, you can see that it's going to be a chilly weekend. The wind should die down by Saturday night or so. For tomorrow, sunshine all over the state. 53 degrees here in Columbia. It's going to be mid-50s along the coast and a beautiful sunny day. Let's talk about the temperatures around the Midlands this morning. It's pretty nice as we're waking up. A little bit cooler than we've seen so far this week. 58 degrees here in downtown Columbia. Slightly cooler. We're in Winsboro, 57, 55 in Camden. Basically, nice temperatures, foggy conditions. You know what's funny is I can't do the accent without raising my voice about six octaves. Oh, I so, know. So I sound like Miss Doubtfire when I'm talking. Well, you know, yeah. I think if you actually spoke to a like a real Irish person, yeah. they would hit you in your lucky charms. <laughs> I don't think I know any of the words to it, that act. Well, except for maybe hail to the chief, I'm sure is the in chief. there. I, I'm sorry, what was that? Hail to the chief. You don't want me to say. That was awesome. Hail to the chief. He I don't think is that's a really swell like, guy. Oh. That's not even hail to the chief, is it? That's pomp and circumstance. Huh? No, I don't know what that was, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but again, I couldn't do it either. You know, I was thinking, like, I don't know the name. I don't know any of the words to that. So I can hum. Yeah. I can hum like a champion. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some of the temperatures out there this morning on the chilly side to be sure. The ballet has come back. The Carolina Ballet actually will be presenting Giselle today at 10 a.m. Also another encore performance this evening at 7.30 p.m. at the Township Auditorium. This, of course, is the story of fairy nymphs in the forest frolicking around. Very nice. I love the ballet. Okay, this is so cool, you guys. Did you ever want to be on the real world? Well, they're having a casting call right here in Columbia tomorrow at Jillian's. That's on Gervais Street. So if you're 21 and over or you know somebody who would be, you know, a good addition, somebody with a little drama, perhaps. Okay, that's all you need to get started with your tea. Stay with us. We have a lot more coming up on Good Day Columbia. And next time I come back, I will be serving tea to one Miss Janet Parker. Sit back, relax, enjoy a wonderful tea in the afternoon. And now you know how to do the same. I love this. Janet, thank you for coming over. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Well, good day, we'll be right back. There's 35 countries involved in this, and yes, the goal with uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people is to commit three million random acts of kindness and so we wanted the city of columbia to be invited to that party because only 17 states here in our country were actually involved so we thought about this a couple months ago when we found out it was going to be pay it forward day when we approached mayor benjamin there was not a hesitation uh, from him or anyone in his office we're hope i suffered i think from overexposure from living at ground zero what most Absolutely. these soldiers must be going through who have ptsd yet are still in a war zone. Mm -hmm. In a war zone, re-experiencing and re-experiencing, you're not able to fully deal with it and to find...